These are the ATP World Tour under 21 young guns. The new best of the best. Keen to make a very big impression. Yeah, it's great to have some fresh faces and new faces um, in the top 100. Uh, a lot of pretty close to breaking through as well, so uh, it's good to have that new young crop coming through. Lots of guys are coming up. It's definitely a, a new generation coming through. There's a couple more guys coming in, you know, and uh, I'm just very happy that uh, I'm also one of them. You know, and it's also very nice to have someone else who's going to keep pushing you so I can work even harder. We're definitely a new generation. We're, we're young and we play very aggressive, all of us. To inspire six of the game's best young stars ahead of Wimbledon, the ATP organised a photo shoot with the five-time sports photographer of the year. They've been really easy, really fun, they've really enjoyed it. Um, some of them haven't done a photo shoot before. <laughs> I just gotta have fun, you know, just gotta get them to sort of, you know, break the ice a little bit. So it's just about making it a little bit of fun, getting them to do something. So maybe, you know, they're jumping around, they're moving around. Just when you're doing something, you're not concentrating on the camera and you produce a better picture. It's one of my first photo shoots and to doing it for Wimbledon is pretty big for me. Like now I'm one of the young guns and to be one of those is pretty I'm happy because of that. He was just standing there and I had to catch the balls and do keep you up is but as I say, yeah, it's good fun, it's something different. It's always good fun to uh, step off the tennis court and uh, do something different for a change. Um, it's part of the fun stuff that comes with the job, so yeah, I enjoy the stuff. What we're trying to produce is a picture with six guys, six of the young gun tennis players in, and we're trying to produce it um, individually so we get the guys one at a time. We don't get them as a group, but in the finished picture there will be there six of them. They'll be in front of the net, so with one guy jumping over the net, and the other guys will be looking up, sort of laughing at him as he's sort of in full flight coming over the top of the net. And it's just to produce a really moody, interesting, creative picture that shows the guys off. They'll all be wearing black suits, ties, looking really cool. And we'll Photoshop a background in, which will be the Wimbledon Centre Court, the Ivy Cloud building at Centre Court of Wimbledon. Having come up through the junior ranks together, the bond has grown strong between all the young guns. As well, the younger guys, you, you tend to speak to more because, you know, you have the similar interests and the same age and you've seen them at, at junior tournaments as well. You know, I've known um, the Nass and, and Elias, uh, you know, for, for, for a fair while and they're, they're really fun to be around. I've known these guys since I was juniors and I'm happy for all the guys who just make it. The guys I know, I'm just happy for them who makes good work. I think it's good for the fans coming out and watching, seeing some fresh faces along with the ones they love already. So that's the cycle of tennis, I guess. I think it's nice to see that other players in the big four are starting to come up there and uh, hopefully one day we can also be the big four there. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, welcome to Wimbledon. We go behind the scenes at the third Grand Slam of the year. And to double trouble, we talk to the game's elite teams about how they play those pressure points. Don't forget to log on to the all-new atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.